Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 3 of Indoor Lands. I decided I would give this game uh, one more shot. Really just to uh, reacquaint myself with the uh, style of video that I wanted to do for sort of like uh, 3D parks. I'm not so used to the uh, real-time gameplay. And this seems like a good game to sort of practice with that. And in the same vein, I wanted to give uh, roller coasters another shot in this game. There's no snapping, so I'm going to take another approach with my roller coaster design. And I also wanted to expand a bit in terms of what I was going to do with the rest of the park. I wanted to see more of the pre-made rides and some more of the theming and things like that. So let's get into the game. Now, I don't particularly remember exactly how to uh, play this, so uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, yes, I remember my beautiful roller coaster. It's been some time. I'm probably just going to get rid of this entirely. And... Uh, Yeah, we're just going to get rid of that. And I'll try another roller coaster another time, but I actually want to see more of the uh, pre-made ones and uh, just see what else they do in this game in terms of ride uh, theming and what, what else is possible. No, I don't remember how to, like, do anything anymore. Uh, let's see. What's going on in my research? Maybe I should pause the game before uh, things get too crazy here. Right, so I've got... Twenty five points, and I was kind of going along this one here. This gives me a two hundred K grant. I don't know if money is really a big issue given I have two hundred and seventy one thousand. So maybe All right. So, let's see if there's a, uh, another coaster design that would be suitable here. Yeah, I had it lined up right with that. That's the one I have already, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, galactic launch. 
Mission Mercy. Samurai, the Hora, City Runner. Well, let's go with that one. Legends of Steel Pit. Oh, Legends of Steel Dragon. That's the one I want. Yeah, this one. Apply. Alright, cool. Let's take a look at the. Okay. Oh, and away we go. Oh, it's a launch coaster. Cool. Yeah, so I really think the secret to coaster design in this game is not trying to be too specific in what you want and just kind of go for it. It seems to be what theirs do. It's pretty cool. Alright. Uh... Neat. How did I get out of this window again? Here. Awesome. So, that's making people happy. Now, what are my current uh, tasks here? Bring my park to an attractive score of 990. Well, I'm not quite there. Have 340 visitors in your park. How many do I have? 210. Accumulate a total visitor experience of 1200. The rate at which hunger is generated decreases by 50%. Okay. So what are all the buildings I had here? This was a research thing, right? Yeah, generates research. I think I want one of these on this side too. Apparently more than one research building in this is uh, good. Was I giving buildings names? I can't even remember. Research A. Yeah, I was giving buildings names. Yeah, not very inventive names, my typical style here. See, so did I call it that? Yeah, see I did, Fantasy Tour, what was this one? Legends of Steel Dragon. Rename that. Uh, I can't even name it the name of the blueprint, really? Fine. That's kind of silly. So you can, your blueprint names can be longer than your actual ride names. That's interesting. Why 
Right, I can uh, do things like uh, raise the price of my park here. Oh, it's actually in the, I'm in the yellow. I want to be in the green. Okay, that's better. Do I have a price set on this? What is this? I guess not. Neat. What was this? Repair building C. Right, okay. Uh, what was this guy? Milkshakes. Sweets. Repair building B. Cleaning building B. Air building A, toilets B, and a cleaning building there. Probably want a cleaning building over here too. Oh. Lose 15,000. Oh, I don't want to do that. I guess I'll do this. Three tags in my park. Okay. Uh, let's go back to pause. And I'll just swap around here. Go to a path. And what was I doing for colors? Like this? Yeah. Alright. I need... This guy here. What's this? Many dislikes. So hungry. Why? Does it change color and tell me if it's a bad price? No. So how do I know what a good price is? Oh, sure, I guess so. Oh, it does change color down here, okay. I see. So like right there is good. Neat. I really like those indicators. So let's go take a look at all of them here. Cool. And this guy. Oh, see. Nice. I get it. So really, I was making this much money and I was like losing money on all this stuff, it looks like. Like, well, maybe not necessarily losing money, but uh, it wasn't efficient. What was this one again? Rope course, balloon store, slushies B, 
pins, fries, and there is the quality here too, so. Slushies A, popcorn, the horse carousel. Oh, I can't get them both green on this one. Maybe I have to up the quality. More quality, I guess. Holy moly. There's just no way that you can actually do good on this. So let's see, so green, no. I want them both green if I can. No. Look how close that is. Almost. Well, we're gonna go for both sorta of neutral. Oh, chance that visitors will leave the building upset and unsatisfied, zero. Okay, well that's good. Okay, interesting. That's the repair, or the uh, research. Uh, let's see what we can do with this. There we go. Milkshakes. And get this guy there too, there we go. Awesome. All right, so now my building should be more efficient I guess, in terms of how they're making their money. Now, the question is, what do I want to do next? I have this lovely park here. I got for research points. 25 still? Okay. Oh, what have I done? Oh, I need to create three tags of type ride. Okay, so I need to build three rides, basically. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. So I suppose I now need to expand into more areas here. How do I do that again? Is it here? My park? No. Oh, let's adjust that. Cleaning. Oh, I can do manual cleaning of my park. Huh. That's interesting. Here. 
heat maps. Do I just select it? No. I know I already did this, didn't I? And I just don't remember now. Not the maps. When I find it, I'm going to be... It's probably, like, sticking right out at me and I just can't find it. Let's see. Ticket price? No. My park? No. Why is this so hard? It shouldn't be this hard. I want to expand park. Expand park. Do I have to Google it? I'm going to have to Google it, I bet. Can I do it here? Unlocks. Oh yeah, it's probably here, right? Let's see. Is it here? Uh, this is all right. Well, in the meantime, while I look for this, we're gonna follow a uh, a visitor, I think. I'm just going to look it up on my phone here. It's in the path menu. Why would it be in the path menu? Honestly. What's my guy doing here? He's pretty happy. Well, 
Purchase land. There we go. All right. So we're going to buy that one. I don't have enough for two. I guess I don't have that much money, eh? But there's enough land for oh, something. Now, there is a achievement if you, like, follow a guest around for a minute. And I want it. So that's what I'm going to do next. Uh, what do I need? Guest selector. Yeah, let's see what this guy does. Now, is there a way I can, like, auto-follow the guests, though? They hate to wait. Well, it doesn't everybody, honestly. I don't think it can lock the camera at all. So, we'll just see what this person does. I think they're leaving. Well, boo. Let's try you. So one minute, okay. Twenty eight twenty. Wait till twenty nine twenty. See if I get the achievement. And uh if I don't get the achievement then I'm not really certain what it means. I'll have to look it up. Oh, yeah, follow a visitor with the visitor tool for one minute. There we go. Okay, done. All right, let's see. What do we got? Too much butter. Add the greasy tag. Adds a shopping tag. Why would your slushies be greasy? That's not a very good tag. I mean, I guess it's shopping. Can we improve the price a bit? There we go. Okay. Oh, I forgot buildings upgrading this. Super cool.
so let's see what else we got. Uh, I'm a little sick of halls. I want more halls. How many research points I got? 37? Uh, let's go see what we can do here for research. I haven't really played with decorations, so I'm not sure if I want to unlock decorations. So what comes in this? We get expanded food selection. Salads, sandwiches, and burgers. This one comes with darts can throwing and a bouncer and a thing this one comes with mugs and kitchenware just more shops basically and more shops this has the theming and then this has the parking and stuff yeah uh, I mean, I suppose, I really want the rides, so I think I will go with this one. I mean, they're only ten. I'll just do both of them. I really like the music. Do 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 do. Yeah, pretty cool. So I got some new shops there. What did I get? Yeah, salads, sandwiches. What did I get in this one? Darts and can throwing. Let's check those out. They're both small. Yeah, throw another repair building over here. What do I call this guy anyway? This is the cleaning building C, I think. C might be D actually. Yeah, that's C. Air building D. It could be true for cleaning. I don't think so. No, okay. Cool. Now, it probably made more sense to stick these types of buildings over here, given that they have a radius, but, you know. Uh, learning, learning, and... Uh, I don't really want to move things around too much now that they're there. So I got a new ride. I don't know if I got a new ride hall. What do these do again? Oh yeah, they're just little decoration halls. I did use one before. Kind of cool because they give you like different uh, entrances and exits into the zone kind of neat so let's see I would probably want it right about here here Probably there. Okay. Let's do uh, same thing I was doing. We'll bring this up like this.
throw some of the new stuff I got down here. And we'll throw, let's see, what did I get? Uh, I think I've got all those down already. Anything here that I haven't done? No. Do I have a warehouse? I don't know if I have a warehouse. I think I do have a warehouse somewhere here. Well, we'll stick it here. I don't know if I have another one. Might not have built one of those yet. Toilets, cleaning. Yeah, that was toilets as well. I don't think I did. Cool. Okay. Let's build a. Uh... What was it? Darts? Let's call it darts. I don't know if I'll be building another one. Try to get the uh, efficiency going there. What else we got? Can throwing. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's see what I can do with this. Don't have enough money. I need 168,000, 187,000. I did these two already. I don't have a chaos. But I do not have enough money for any of these. Except the ones I already have. So we'll wait on this. Sure, let's add that. I'm I didn't make my uh, objective of building three rides, but that's okay. Got hung up with the whole land thing. And I wouldn't have had the money for it anyway. Thanks. 
expand the paths a bit over here. Make money pretty fast though, so you know, there is that. Doesn't take forever. I'm already at 132. Have more than enough to uh, purchase one of those rides pretty quick here. I'll put one of those new buildings down actually. Oh, yeah, I got salads. We'll throw some salads over here. Awesome. Everybody likes salad. Awesome. And uh, might as well throw this other one down too. Sandwiches. I wonder what purple means. Is purple... Oh, purple is really good. Okay. Well, maybe I want to try to go for purple then. Hmm. Can I make it purple? Only if I lose money. I see. What if I go like that? That, I guess. Okay. Interesting. Nope. So I get all restaurants break down with what will give me an immediate reward of 20 research points. It's pretty useful. Or I could go for money if I have 75 visitors without the negative reaction so hungry. Kind of want that. The uh, research points. Now, does my guy go repair these automatically? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's repairing stuff automatically. Okay. Great. Darts is trending. Ooh. So now that I got more research points, I can 
unlock some more stuff here. Shopping fun. Fun for everyone. Sure. Chocolate, peanuts, collectible store, maps and things. What else did I get in this one? Burgers, sandwiches, and salads. I haven't done burgers yet, actually. Let's build the burgers. Can go there. Burgers. Cool. Just my front entrance there. I guess now I might as well unlock more stuff. What do I get here? It cost me 20. What's this? Oh! Halls and decorations. There we go. I get a new ride hall. Yeah, let's do this one. And get rid of this. And, uh... Try the new ride hall here. Oh, it's expensive. Look at that. Way more expensive than this one. Does it at least look cool? Could not even, pro I can't even check it out. I gotta wait. I'd rather put this one though, so it's, so I got something a little different than the two that already exist here. Darts is upgraded. Uh, let's go with more price here. Like that. Many dislikes. So hungry. Many dislikes. Hate to wait. How can these guys be hungry? I've got food everywhere. Like, what do you want? Hundred and forty nine more visitors for next mile phone. I lost money. Brutal. Maybe this game isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Are they not like the roller coaster over here?
can throwing has now upgraded. Quality influence, capacity, a register robot. Uh, let's go with capacity here. Can I get more cost? Not quite. Uh, a little bit. Get another one upgrade? I heard the sound. I don't know. I think I have enough to build that ride hall now. Oh, no, 187. Almost there. Which means it's going to be a long time before I get one of the rides into that ride hall, but whatever. I don't want to build the same ride hall three times in a row. At least it seems like I'm making money overall, though. wonder if I should update my uh, parking lot more. I think I might be maxing out in terms of uh, guests as a result of it. I'll build this other ride first though. Almost there. That's so cool. Oh, achieve demand level four. My rewards, new research available, new research available, 20 research points, 100k, yes, new visitor type unlocked, I have unlocked a new type, food enthusiast, ooh, okay. Well, there we go, uh, alright, so let's pause. Because I should have more than enough now to build this new hall. Let's check this out. Oh, that's cool. It's a little bit bigger. I'll plop that down now. Look at that. That's nice. Now, of course I don't have enough to actually uh, do anything with it yet. Let's see what we got for blueprints here. We got Moshton City Center. 
Motel with pool. That doesn't look like a motel with a pool, but okay. Snow and stuff laying around. <laughs> New Earth Settlement. Okay, I like that. Let's go with that. And, uh, yeah, let's continue and get our money. Oh, got an activity milestone. Oh, yeah, money. Okay, here we go. I think I got enough for the ride now. Let's, uh, enter the hall. And, uh, 168k. I'm almost there. I can build a chaos, a circus, or a bouncer. I suppose I'll go with the uh, chaos since it's the next thing that I haven't built yet. Almost there. All right, chaos. Cool. Uh, all right. Not a big fan of the color scheme, so let's take a look at that. Now this is for the lines in between. I want something closer to this, this color here that this is for the center piece I'll make that black yeah this is for this part actually you know I don't think I can change this gray looking at the color choices here uh, so maybe I won't go with that. Maybe I'll make that black too. And, uh, yeah. So this is for the base of these. That I will make this color here. This is for the top. I will also make it that color. It's for the lines around. Let's make those green. Yeah, lighter green. This is for the general car color here. Yeah, I'll go darker. Yeah, this is the inner seats. We'll make those like a dark green. Not sure what this is, the steering wheel. Black. And the back of the seats, or the restraints, maybe. And we'll go with like a brown. And I'm not even sure where this is on there, but, uh, We'll just say it's black. Yeah, I like that better. The wall painting now. Yeah, that's so cool. Let's go with this guy. Hall colors. I'll, I'm going to keep the hall colors. Hall theme. I will keep the theme as well.
two western. Yeah. That's pretty cool looking. Suppose we'll uh just need to ride it now. Expensive stuff. I'm gonna have to adjust prices here. That's okay. Okay. Let's go do that. Alright, so this guy's got an upgrade. Adds the kid-friendly tag for popcorn? Yeah, of course it's kid-friendly. Adds the experience tag. Activity egg. Let's go with kid-friendly. Alright, so expensive stuff. First of all, this can go up. Go to there. And now let's just start looking at all the buildings, I guess. So milkshake seems to be okay. Sweets. They're not too happy with carousel. Really would like to get this to a point where not losing money. But I suppose happiness is more important than money on one particular ride, I suppose. I get a purple. I don't think so. Not quite. Purple. I mean, everything seems to be priced okay. Yeah, it's priced okay. Seems to be priced okay. Seems to be priced okay. I'm not sure what everyone's worried about expensive stuff, unless it's the fact that maybe that's a separate thing from the happiness and the. But I would think that too expensive would be the red dollar sign thing in there, but maybe not. Oh yeah, I got a ton of research points, so let's go take a look at that. Oh, so I've got the next step here, which gives me... Ooh, that looks cool. And falafels. Sure. 
Oh, I don't quite have enough for that. Do I get anything new here? Oh, I get decorations. What's this? What does this give me? Decrease the building cost of all decoration halls by 25%. That's cool. Uh, maybe I should do this parking, eh? Let's do that. And, uh, what, what was this? Decreases the building cost of all shops and restaurants. Increases the capacity of all shops and restaurants. Yeah. Immediately gives a grant. Yeah, I want to get this one next, I think. Oh, mini drop tower, cool. Ball pool. Oh yeah, right, what was this called? Chaos? It's called Chaos. Alright, there we go. Well, let's look at those decoration halls. Deco halls. What are the new ones? Oh, that's cool. like transition points really that would be the best way to use them I think put like one here Upgrade 10 buildings to level 2. Research points. Create 20 tags in my park. I have 10 minutes to do that. Oh, the breakdowns are really easy. I'll just take that. They'll go fix them real fast here. And then uh, I'll have 15 research points. Burgers was strongly trending. So now that I have that much research, I can go get the thing I want, which was this one here, the next step. 
There we go. Which gives me falafels, which I'll throw here. Yeah, falafels. Now, how big were those research? buildings it's big uh, I'm gonna put a research building here and a research building here so be research C right that's B this will be research D More research is better. My happiness is down to 82. My park impression is going way down. Hmm. So the next thing I need to do is expand the uh, land area again, which is going to cost me 300k it looks like for the next one. Uh, almost 100k.
Well, while we wait, why not uh, ride the coasters? Star Trek guys coming yet? Not yet. Come on, let's go Steel Dragon. Or Legend of the Steel Dragon. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, we're almost full here. Here we go. All right. Oh, all the people are cheering now. Register robot, interior redesign, using more capacity. Uh, yeah, let's go with capacity. Oh. Build three halls with theme Vikings. Feel like I don't have nearly enough money though. So let's see if we can do this one. Have a hundred visitors without the negative reaction expensive stuff. We'll see if that works. Give this one a ride again. Coming. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, here we go. <laughs> what a sound that was. Nice. Here we go. Now the music kicks in.
Oh, I did it. There we go. Got my money. I have enough now to uh, buy more land. Now, it's unfortunate that, like, each piece of land is pretty much just big enough. Just barely big enough for one of these. But, you know. Let's get it. There we go. We got our land. <clears throat> so, uh. Now, in terms of research, well, what did I get? Anything? Didn't I get, what is this? Oh, that's a, it's a deco hall, I think. How do I get new roller coaster halls? Which one of these does that? None of them. Well, I suppose I will do some more shops in the meantime. What's this? Hate to wait. Yeah, I know everyone hates to wait. So I don't. I can't give you more roller coasters till I have more roller coaster halls. I'm not going to build the same hall over and over. Uh. This reduces the cost of deco halls. I want, so the one I will probably want to get next is this one here. Don't do that. I just heard the sound of upgrade. It's the milkshakes this time. We get uh, plus 10 weight patience. Oh, that would be good. Decreases the wear rate. I'm going to add patience. Please have more patience, people. Oh, we got another one over here. This is toilets. Oh, toilets is upgraded. Yeah, let's add some capacity to that. That's a no-brainer. So what do I need for the next one? feel like I should just, oh, 500k now. Holy crap. Okay. Alright, so what did I get for shops here? Got some stuffed animals. Which uh, I'll throw here like this. We'll do a different path here on this side. Maybe like these. Like that. Stuffed animals. Uh, did I get anything else? Oh yeah, the mini drop tower. The 
ball pool. Playground. We'll put the playground here. Okay, playground. Let's see if this works. I'm not sure if I would have to upgrade 10 buildings. Looks like yes. So it doesn't include the ones that I already have upgraded, which is unfortunate because I'm probably not going to build 10 new buildings. Uh, but you know, get out of there. Oh, for those that are wondering why I don't just advance the time fast, um, sometimes in games like this I will do that, but mostly I like to just enjoy it at a normal speed and just try to, uh, you know, be patient. 
I like to react to events and not, you know, blow by them and things like that. I do the same thing in games like uh, SimCity and uh, City Skylines, Planet Coaster. I, you know, because I just like to enjoy watching what's going on. Uh, increase park impression. Decreases handling time. Decreases the wear rate. Uh, and this is for salads. Let's, uh... Increase the impression around the area, I think. The sound of money. Mm-hmm. Now I want to unlock like a different hall, I think, before I build another ride. Although, I could just build another one of these. They're okay looking. Maybe I will. So I think this one I will have face this way. Like that. And I'll just build the path. I don't have enough money. How much does a path cost? 6.3 thousand? Jeez. Alright, we'll just wait a bit on that. I'm in negative territory now. Uh oh. How are you doing? How are you doing?
kind of interesting to like mix up the deco halls and the entrances to the ride areas i think you could maybe do some interesting paths into the ride areas with the deco halls yeah i definitely think i would take a different approach if i the next time i do a park in this less uh blocky and boxy and try to make it a little bit more interesting but for a first attempt you know it is what it is there so now got all of the entrance and exits oh look i'm at 100 everything's purple Ooh. Oh. Can throwing upgraded. Let's see. Adds the souvenir tag. Adds the varied colors. Adds the drink bar. It's not a drink bar though. Let's do that. Varied colors. lost a whole bunch of money Now I'm going to have to save up enough to buy a ride for this. It's like 180000 or so around, or 160000 if I remember right. Might not happen in this video. Getting kind of tired. And we're pushing almost two hours here, so... I think uh, might be it for this video. So until next time, uh, I think next time I will try to expand the park a bit. Try to figure out how to make more money probably. Uh, I'll have to maybe look at grants and things. Now those grants are starting to make more sense. Why they have the various research levels. In fact, maybe I'll just go grab uh, this one here. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm at 200 and I just made a whole ton of money somehow. Did I meet a goal or something? Maybe. Cool. Well, that's great. That means I can buy my ride. So, let's do that. I guess it is happening in this video. We'll do the circus. Okay. And, yeah. So now that I got the circus there, uh, we can just call it circus and let's pick an appropriate blueprint. I'm going to do motel with pool. Uh, 
Doesn't really fit with the green though. I'll stick with the same one, maybe. Maybe I'll make this one different. Maybe we'll make this one like that. Yeah, okay. That's what's going to happen. This one is going to be motel with pool. This one is going to be the new earth. Like that. There we go. I didn't make my challenge but that's okay I didn't think I would um, oh look my path has stuff in it I don't want all that stuff in it There we go. Oh, all of a sudden I'm making a ton of money. I don't really know how, but... Something changed. Anyway, let's go back into here. So now that I've got all that... Let's look at the ride colors here. And for the base, I'm going to make it like a dark brown. And same with that part. This is... Oh, it's this part here. I see it. Uh, let's go with like the orange. Dark green. Yeah, same with that part too. Make that part like light brown. Which part is that? Oh, the that Where does that, oh, right out uh, there in the back. Oh, cool, okay. Right there. Lots of upgrades happening here. So, for falafels, 
Let's add patience. For darts. Adds the exciting tag. For pins. We'll do the very tag. For toilets A. Oh boy. Capacity and patience. Yes. All right, there we go. Holy oh, and are at six I'm at a hundred and hundred and one percent. Wow, cool. Oh, look what I did. What do I get? New research. New research. Research points. Money. New visitor type. Thrill seeker. So if I go check out my research now. Oh. Build a bus station. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. Oh, decreases handling time of all rides. Questionable research data. Lose 50 research. Ew, I don't want that. All toilets break down. This one gives me research points. Build 10 slush ice buildings. Why would I want 10? Is that the kind, is that why they're complaining about hunger and stuff that you need like 10 of them? I don't really want to build 10. I'm going to go with all toilets breaking down. And we got uh, rope course upgrading here. Can increase the price. We got uh, stuffed animals, uh, reduce the upkeep cost, playground, it's up the capacity, sweets, also up the capacity, sandwiches, we'll add patience. Very cool. I guess I have enough to buy this land over here now too. Might as well do that. There we go. Check the repair. Yeah, everything's repairable still.
Thanks, staff, Star Trek guy. Even has like the buzz of the ride, the like motor. Or is that the music? No, I didn't do any music in here. Right? Okay. I wonder if there's like research and bonuses and stuff that you can do for like ride check time and stuff like that. That would be neat. Wee. Okay. Cool. But okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna <clears throat> call it for this video. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this episode, and I will see you in the next video.